So first of all, I really loved your character. Your character is just so uh, colorful and vibrant. How did, how did you go about bringing that out of him? You know why? It's because he was, I, I saw him as very large, as, a, as an expansive character. And I actually am loud and quite often bigger than I want to be or that others may want me to be. But I channeled that kind of, uh, of personality. Um, some people might call it obnoxious. Uh, some people may say it's sort of in your face, you're just too loud. But there was, they wrote funny lines. So if you're contained that much, you're not obnoxious and you're not in your face. And, and that's, that's what it was. If he, was. if he did carry the movie, you'd hate him. <laughs> but in a small dose, he was lovely. It was great because it, it kind of makes me think about like, did I have any imaginary friends? Did you? I don't know. I don't. I, I probably did. I was wondering if you. Had. I don't think I did. See, that's. No, I don't know if you remember. My, my daughter says she has had an imaginary friend, and I, I remember her talking, but she didn't dwell on it a lot. And then after the movie came out, my son claimed to have had an imaginary friend, but he, he just wants to be part of it. Yeah. It's always a great opportunity to be on, like for a Pixar film because. You know, there's a magic, there's some kind of magic with Pixar Studios. Yes, there what is. What do you think is the, uh, the secret or the thing behind it? I can tell you, uh, my interpretation is that when Pixar sets out to do a movie, they make the best movie that they possibly can. And if it's not, they discard part of it until it does become the best. If you can associate yourself and watch high quality, you know, some people like a fine scotch. They can taste the difference. I can. Some people like a great cigar. As, as I can't taste the difference. There are things in the world that the very wealthy can have the best of driving a really fine car versus something that is an economy car. But Pixar makes something that is accessible to everyone, no matter what their economic class, and they are getting the best because they work hard at making the best. And if you are associated with putting out such a project, can you imagine how good you feel? So I think that's, that's what it is. After your initial, you know, what, your screening of it, after you watched it the first time, what was your immediate reaction? Uh, well, I think we were all crying. I think, I think we were all really happy. I think that we were sort of like, like breathing like Am I really part of this greatness? So that was the first one. I, th I think, you know what it was? It was, I think this is as good as I thought it was. You know, because we're working on it for two and a half years and we're watching, we don't really know. And it's all in the, the, the minds of these creators and how are they interpreting to us what it's gonna look like? They're just, just stories or descriptions. You know, you can say, well, the Mona Lisa is this, but she's actually mysterious and elusive. Well, I don't get what you mean. Well, that's sort of the way this was. We're being told what it's going to be, and then finally we see it, and we go, you can experience for yourself. I try telling people, you know, that I'm making a movie that I think is going to be a masterpiece. It's called Inside Out. Now, what they say is, what? In out? In, the, in and out? Wasn't that already a movie? And then after they see it, they have experienced it. It, it, it becomes a whole easier story to tell. And you probably fell in love with this character, you know, while working with, you know, I did. doing it. And I uh, did. you have like toys and figurines at home and... Oh yeah, oh, Pixar's <laughs> very generous with, with me. Look, they, they, they give you what they can. You know, you're, you're, you're paid a salary and they treat you very well, but it's the box of toys and things like that. And, they, and they're also really nice because they know I have a 13 year old and 10 year old twins and they know that they're gonna have friends, and wow, you have that doll, why can't I have a bed? And so my, my children are able to give gifts, and you give an inside-out gift, it's the greatest. And Halloween's yeah. coming up right around. How many people do you think will dress up as being I don't know, it didn't even occur to me, and then one person uh, said to me, oh, I think I think I have a nephew who's gonna go out as Bing Bong. Wow, that's sort of cool, that's really great.